the AFU once again tried to attack Moscow with drones. The Aerospace Defense Forces repelled the attack by destroying two aircraft over the territory of the region. Daily shelling of border settlements in Belgorod region continues. As a result of artillery strikes by the AFU, one person was killed and five others were injured. In the Svatova sector, Russian troops continue to conduct active defense in the area of the Karmazinovsky salient. Artillery units are striking at incoming enemy reserves, preventing them from regrouping for an attack. In the Bakhmut sector, fierce fighting for the control at the klishchivka andreevka line continues. Despite the enemy's numerical superiority, Russian troops continue to hold their positions in the destroyed villages. The AFU's artillery has once again struck the territories of the Donetsk agglomeration with cluster munitions. As a result of the barbaric shelling, three people were killed, including a four-year-old girl. Four more people were injured. Near Vuladar, the enemy continues to carry out sorties by small sabotage groups in the direction of Nikolsky. Such attempts are promptly detected and thwarted by accurate artillery fire. In the Vremivka sector, the enemy made another attempt to storm Urozhane. Having lost all their armored vehicles, the AFU units are trying to gain a foothold on the northern outskirts of the village under heavy fire from Russian artillery. In the Orokiv sector, the AFU attacked east of Robotyne after a powerful artillery preparation. As a result of the battle, the enemy managed to occupy a stronghold previously located in the Grey Zone. At the same time, Ukrainian artillery increased the intensity of strikes on rear areas. Four people were killed, and three others were injured as a result of the shelling of residential buildings in the village of Trudov.